When it comes to the U.S. ad mobile market, everyone's heard of Millennial, Quattro, AdMob, but outside of the U.S., another company reigns supreme, and that's Inmobi. Joining us today is our CEO and founder, Naveen Tawari. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. So give us an idea of how big your company is, where you guys play outside of the United States. Yeah, so we, you know, we are in about uh, 108 countries um, outside of the U.S. We do about 17, close to 17 billion ads. We did close to 17 million ads in the month of May. Mm -hmm. uh, we reached to about 180 million people across the world. Um, you know, we are about 140 people scattered ac across seven offices in the world. Uh, Mainly in India, though? Uh, a lot of our product and engineering mm -hmm. is in India, but then, you know, with every market, there are tons of nuances, and so we kind of get into every market and, and build our presence in those markets. Uh, and that's why we are in about seven markets now. Now, many of the largest mobile ad companies started in the United States. You went a very different direction. Why was that? When you started this company, you looked at the market and you thought, U.S. is not the way to go. Yeah, we, you know, we started off in India um, for a very different set of reasons. Mm -hmm. But once we looked at moving outside of India, we basically said, you know, we have two options, one to get into U.S. or not. And we looked into U.S., the competitive landscape was pretty fierce. The market was tanking. And we decided that instead of essentially going after the over competitive space, we'll go after the rest of the market and kind of take that market, build our product expertise, and then come into U.S. a little later. So, you know, in that time frame, a lot of uh, the market has stabilized in, in the in the in the landscape, and we are now coming into the market with a very supreme product, and uh, you know we're getting great responses. So without even really launching ourselves with a, with a soft launch, we, we you know we reached to over two billion impressions, and so. You know, that's how we're looking at this. The rate of growth has been fast around the world, not just in the U.S. In January, the company served 7.5 billion ad impressions. In May, that more than doubled to nearly 17 billion, with 2 billion in North America, 1.6 billion in Europe, 10 billion in Asia, 2.3 billion in Africa, and 800 million in the Middle East and other. The revenue run rate has roughly doubled year over year to 35 million, a number that should continue to rise as smartphones, especially the iPhone, gain ground abroad. I remember about six to twelve months, six to nine, eight months ago, the market share of iPhone in the iPhone uh, users or inventory uh, outside of U.S. was about 10 to 20 percent, mm -hmm. but today it's anywhere between 40 to 50 percent. Mm -hmm. So you have half the, you know, volume coming outside of U.S., uh, which is a you know, which is a change in the market landscape in a very short period of time. When you're looking across all your different markets and you're looking at Asia and Africa and trying to understand user patterns, right, what are some of the most key trends that you notice in terms of how these certain countries are using ads differently than other countries, how they're interacting with these ads? A lot of the post-click engagement on the, on the ads in some of the Asian market, mm -hmm. you know, leads through SMS, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's not necessarily true in U.S. Uh, or in developed markets. Uh, a lot of the payments that happen on a post-click ad and that gets through a conversion, etc., happens uh, using operator billing, whereas here it happens through credit cards or, uh, you know, PayPal. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are like significant nuances to how the consumer is interacting with the ad and, and using the medium to, you know, do the consumption. Uh, and those are the differences that we have to keep in mind as we get into each of these markets. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, countries in Africa basically use MPSA, mm. uh, which is a very different currency of usage as against, you know, what you have in, you know, Western markets or operator billing, which is in Asian markets. Mm -hmm. And key to your company's research is, of course, trying to understand the rate of growth when it comes to mobile phones, right? So when you're trying to understand where you could be today versus what the market could be next five, ten years or so, where do you see mobile phone usage? Um, it, will it eclipse laptop usage and other types of portable devices? Yeah, so look, so then, you know, we kind of, when we look at that, we kind mm -hmm. of break the market into, you know, into developed markets and developing markets. So just to step back, if you look at the total mobile phone, mobile internet phones that will be there in the, in the world in, in the next four to five years, we're looking at somewhere around, you know, five billion mm -hmm. phones, or five billion people using mobile internet from their phones. Uh, a lot of that users will be in uh, Asian countries, in the developing markets, in Asia and Africa. And, you know, as, you know, some of these great mobile devices and, uh, you know, high internet connections or 3G connections uh, get into those markets, you'll see a very different level of usage by that community 
uh, of users because they don't have the current sort of PC in PC, the PC penetration is very low. Mm -hmm. So you'll have a very different level of usage in those markets. So it's not about eclipsing or, or you know kind of cannibalizing mm -hmm. the PC usage because PC usage doesn't exist. And then you look at some of the developed markets where the the iPhones and you know similar Android platform phones will essentially uh, go and start to eat into a lot of the um, PC usage, mm -hmm. um, and that has happened in Japan. If five billion people are using these mobile devices in the next few years or X number of years, right? If you're a seventy-five million dollar revenue run rate company today, or will be by the end of this year, does that mean you grow by a magnitude of five, six, seven? <laughs> well, it's hard to predict because yeah. the you know uh, the landscape is changing very fast. We certainly you know if 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 you are a company which is reaching to a you know a portion of the five billion handsets, you will be a large company.